welcoming new offensive line coach Tony Sperano Jr. to Indianapolis. Coach, you've spent 12 seasons previously in the NFL, most recently great success with the New York Giants last season. What was most enticing about this opportunity to lead the offensive line of the Colts? Uh, just was really excited to be able to be a part of Coach Steichen's staff, uh, the vision he has for the team. Uh, along with Chris Ballard, just their vision uh, was really exciting to, to be a part of that. And then obviously, uh, I spent four years in Jacksonville working with the offensive line, so I'm, I'm familiar with a lot of the players that are here um, and the lineage that the Colts have had uh, with, with great offensive lines in the past. So to be able to work with the players that we have here, to be part of this staff and, and, and the vision for this team was, was really a great opportunity for me. Speaking of the guys that you have within that group, within that offensive line, this is a team that has invested heavily in recent seasons in the yeah. offensive line, in particular when you look at all pro Quentin Nelson and the guys surrounding him. What are you most excited about in terms of developing with that group, the veteran experience that you have, and then also young emerging talent? Yeah, I mean, I, obviously the veterans we've got are, are, are really good players. So I'm excited to get those guys back here and, and start working with them. Um, hoping to take their game obviously to, to another level, uh, asking them to do some things a little bit differently than maybe they've done in the past, things that I think can help them. Uh, and then with the young players, I think we got some really exciting young players coming up. I know Bernard obviously was a rookie last year, uh, played a lot of plays at left tackle and, and just helping him continue to grow. So I think bringing those two sides of it together, the, the vets that we've got that have been really good players uh, and then the young players helping them kind of come along and, and take the next step in their development. Uh, just just going to be a really, really good challenge, so I'm, I'm excited about it. This time of year, you're not only getting to know the guys that you're working with that you inherit within that group, but you also might be vetting some, of, vetting some of the prospects that there are, whether that's in free agency or guys who are coming up through the draft. When you're having conversations about prospect, prospective guys who are looking to potentially come in to this organization and help improve this group, what are you trying to learn about those guys in those conversations that you're having? Well, you want to learn a little bit of everything, you know. I mean, you, you want to get a feel for, for who they are as an individual independent of football, you know, because that tells you a lot about who somebody is. And you want to make sure they're the right fit for the, for the group and what you're trying to build as an organization as well from a character standpoint. Uh, and then from a football point of view, obviously you want to see what, what they know, uh, as far as you know, how, how many different things have they been asked to do? What's kind of the background in terms of the scheme and the techniques they've learned? Uh, just because it gives me uh, really good insight into if we were able to acquire that player, uh, kind of what his starting point would be with what we'll ask him to do. Um, and, and then obviously you're, you're watching their tape and, and seeing kind of what, what they are. Uh, as players uh, and how they would fit into to our offense as well. So it's a little bit of everything from character to kind of their, their football background and what they've been taught and then obviously what you see on the tape. Coach Steichen was very thorough, very diligent in building this staff, had a lot of conversations. What was something you learned about him and his being the type of head coach who you wanted to work with? Uh, the character was the most important thing for him. Uh, you know, he, he values character above everything. Uh, he feels like if you get the right people, if you get good people that are hardworking and you get guys that want to uh, connect with each other and, and work together toward one common goal, that, that great things are going to happen. And I share that same vision. So uh, it was really cool to, to learn that that's his philosophy and how he sees things. In learning more about his vision, he talks a lot about the philosophies and the pillars and what he is building as the foundation of his group and of this organization moving forward under his leadership. And one thing we heard him say in his introductory press conference, it is throw to score points and run to win. Mm -hmm. What do you embrace most about that philosophy as the offensive line coach? Well, it gives us a chance to, to be really well-rounded. Obviously, um, you know, it gives us a chance to become experts in multiple areas, which, which we're gonna need to be. But uh, for me personally, you know, our ability to protect the passer as, long, as, as much time and as long as he needs uh, to make the plays we need to make down the field, uh, that'll be a great challenge for us and one we'll embrace. And then obviously, you know, when you, you're able to get a lead and you want to try and run the ball, we've got to be able to run it when it counts. So um, just being able, again, to have our hand in, in the success of both ends, what we're trying to do offensively uh, is, is certainly a big challenge, but it's one that as an offensive lineman and as an offensive line coach, uh, you embrace and you love. Coach, so appreciate your taking the time. Excited to have you here as part of the Indianapolis Colts. Thank you so much.